What's up everybody, it's Kayvon from Functional Fitness VA and here's a little half kneeling mobility complex flow circuit thingy for you. So I'm gonna start in the half kneeling hip flexor stretch. Right knee is down, left foot is forward. I'm tall through my chest, tucked under with my pelvis a little bit. And I ease forward on my exhale, trying to extend through that hip by squeezing my glute and keep my abs tight. Inhale as I ease back. You wanna be nice and slow on these so they're full deep slow breaths as well as a little pause as you get to the end of the uh the extension or easing forward of the hip so you can feel that stretch for a second as you're exhaling if you want to have your hands on your upper leg the left leg in this case to kind of push that knee forward great if you can do it without your hands great too so from here my hands come down to the ground my left arm is inside of my left leg my right arm is kind of underneath my right shoulder, maybe a little bit out to the side, maybe a little bit in front. So three things we're after here. I'm trying to get the ankle on my left leg to move, the groin or adductor on my left leg to feel a little stretch, and I'm trying to extend through my right hip also. Notice I guide my knee to the outside as I push forward. I don't let my foot roll up. I don't let my heel lift on the ground or off the ground. I don't let that knee dive in. That's why that left arm is where it is. So you can keep the knee going outside and keep your heel down. Same deal, inhale on the back end, exhale as you ease forward five times. I'm squeezing my glute also, so I do get some extension from that right hip. This is a triple threat. Now, from here, at the bottom end or front end, I put a lot of weight forward. I'm gonna inhale as I do nothing. Exhale, I lift my back knee and extend through that hip. So my right leg, the long leg behind, is lifting at the knee and extending through the hip. While I'm doing that, I'm pushing my left knee, the front leg, to the outside a little bit. Whether it's with my arm or if I'm engaging my glute to move it without the arm's help. So inhale as your knee's on the ground, you're kind of doing nothing. Exhale as you lift it. Now here, I put even more weight forward so my kneecap is not digging into the ground. And if I have to move my hands, I'll do it. A lot of weights on my hands and my front foot. Inhale, do nothing. Exhale, I curl my right heel, the back leg, towards my glute. Squeezing and pulling from your hamstring, extending from the hip, so you're kind of squeezing your glute. So you're getting a uh, full quad stretch here, all the way from the hip down to the kneecap. Now, you gotta watch out for that hamstring cramp because if you squeeze too hard or pull that knee up too hard, it's gonna wanna cramp on you. Don't let it. So you wanna work and move through the hamstring, but don't squeeze and hang out there too long. Now, from there, I turn to my right a little bit, hands kinda move a little, my foot pivots, pop my knee up, and I sit down into a Cossack squat. So I'm trying to pull away from, in this case, my right leg, the long leg. I'm pushing my weight to the left, using my hands to help two things, keep my weight going to the left so I'm pulling away from my right heel and also keep my left knee pushed to the outside so it's not collapsing in. Notice that common theme here. I inhale, I kind of feel it. Exhale, I squeeze and pull away even more. Inhale, relax that a little bit, but there's no full relaxing here because it is a Cossack squat and you are working down in that position. Back and forth, then after five of those, boom. Switch sides. Now I'm gonna speed the video up on this side just so you don't have to hear the same thing a million times and watch me do these, but it's five in every position. Exhale as you move into the stretch. In this case, as my knee and hips go forward. Inhale as you come out of the stretch a little bit. Fold over from there, hands on the ground. Right hand is inside of the right shin, keeping that right knee pushed out. Left leg is long behind. Exhale as I squeeze my glute push my right knee forward and my left hip, well, both hips, forward and slightly down, squeezing that glute to extend through the hip. Then I plant my hands and I'm going back and forth here in the lizard stretch. So inhale, nothing, knees on the ground. Exhale, lift that knee up by squeezing your glute and squeezing your quad to extend through the hip. Just keep the right knee outside and moving a little more to the outside as you do that lift and stretch. Now from here, it's a quad stretch. A lot of weight forward on my hands and front foot. Inhale, nothing. Exhale, curl my heel towards my butt. Five times on that. 
I shift and pivot so I can get into the bottom of a cossack. I try to pull and with my arms push myself away from my heel. Breathing as I squeeze and relax. Five times of those. Then stand up and you're done. Five of each movement on each side. If you need to pause anytime, you can, but try to work through it. Have fun and get loose.